Hi, I'm Joe Esposito. I'm in seventh grade at St. Thomas More School in Withamsville, Ohio. And for my science fair project, I did R. Palm Prince Hereditary. So what I wanted to know is, are palm prints hereditary? And if so, which major parts are inherited? So I thought that when comparing the palm prints of people who are related and not related, the people who are related would show similar prints. Um, my independent variable for this project was whether the subjects were related or not, and if they were related, how they were related. The dependent variable was whether the palm prints showed similar patterns or not. For this project, I needed a notebook, a pen, Play-Doh, a plastic form for creating circular Play-Doh tablets, 20 people representing three different families, a camera, and a calculator. In order to do this project, I needed to make a clay tablet by combining sheets of modeling clay into a sphere. However, the modeling clay did not work as it was too thick for the experiment, so I decided to use Play-Doh instead for favor of a more workable option. So I flattened the Play-Doh out on a piece of wax paper until it was larger than the circular form. Then I used the circular form to cut out and remove all the excess Play-Doh so that I had a perfect circle remaining. Then I flipped it over so that I could have a flat um, surface without any marks in it um, for the palm prints. I had the participant place their right palm in the center of the tablet and press down firmly for five to 10 seconds to ensure a solid print. After, in, after making sure that the print was visible, um, I assigned the participant a random number and wrote the number on one side of a note card and their name on the back of it. Then I took a picture of it in Silvertone because that was the best option after experimenting with multiple different options of camera mode. Um, Silvertone worked out the best, so I decided to use Silvertone because it showed the lines the most clearly. Um, after I took the picture, I repeated this process for the remaining participants, um, and then I printed out all of the pictures um, and colored the major creases. Um, I color-coded them. So the top line here would be blue, the middle line would be red, and the bottom curving line would be green. Then I looked at each possible combination of handprints um, and compared the two color, the colored lines of each color to their equivalent on the other picture. Um, I decided the similarity on a scale of zero to five, um, where zero is practically no similarity and five is almost exactly the same. Um, I did this by analyzing the curvature, um, length, and overall shape of the lines in comparison to the other ones. After that, I sorted the pairs into three groups, related, non-related, and partially related. Related is familial, um, so for example, siblings and or parent-child relationships. Partially related would be like cousins, aunts, and uncles, um, and non-related are people who aren't related. Um, after I have had all of the statuses in the chart, I found out the average similarity of the blue, red, and green lines on each combination. After doing that, um, I decided I found the average for each group, the familial group, the partially related group, and the non-related group. Um, here are the averages. So the average for the familial group was 2.3, the average for the partial group was 2.2, the average for the non-related group was 2.0. So the analysis was the same as the graph, just in written form. So based off of this analysis, I concluded that my hypothesis was wrong, although not entirely, because there wasn't enough evidence to prove that palm prints are hereditary. However, there was some similarity um, between the familial prints in comparison to the non-familial prints. Um, this could be due to the fact that palm prints develop um, to prevent skin from bunching up, allowing a better grip on objects. So palm prints could be more influenced by the size and shape of the hand rather than heredity directly. Uh, one possible reason for the similarity in the familial prints 
could be that the shape of the hands is possibly passed down genetically. Um, overall, I learned a lot from this experiment, including how complicated genetics are, um, including the theory of evolution and um, Mendel's laws um, and all of the things about genetics. Um, and if I were to repeat this experiment, I would do it using more participants from more different families. That way I wouldn't have um, only three families. I would also use different like categories of people in the family, like grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, siblings, and so on to increase the diversity and accuracy of the results. So tell me some of the things that you learned about genetics. Um, so I learned um, a lot about DNA. Um, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Um, and it is what determines eye color, hair color, skin tone, all of that kind of stuff about you. Um, it actually determines pretty much everything about you. Um, so the, um, the DNA, um, it can lead to some interesting things about palm prints, like for example, a simian crease, which is when you would only have one major crease, um, which is affected by a specific mutation in a certain part of the DNA, um, or aterglophomia. Um, which is basically um, not having any dermatoglyphs on your fingers, hands, and soles of your feet. Um, dermatoglyphs are like the little ridges that form your fingerprint, your fingerprints. Um, also, about the Simian crease, there are only four known families in the world that have them. So, would you like to show me um, your logbook here? Sure. So. This is my title page, table of contents, research notes, continuing all the way through here. Keep scrolling. Question, rationale, hypothesis, and variables. Materials. Procedure. Notes, which is the um, changes to the procedure that I made after um, testing the procedure. Um, so those are things that I couldn't fit into the procedure itself. Um, addendum, so more notes. Um, the results key, which is basically describing what each of the things means. So participants would be the two pictures being compared. Blue, red, and green are the corresponding lines here. Um, the status, so N, F, or P. N stands for not, not related, F is for familial relationship, and P stands for partial relationship. Um, and then average similarity, so the average similarity of the prints based off of the three main lines. Um, these are all of my results. And this is my data analysis discussion, conclusion, and take it further. And then you want to show us some of the photos of the handprints that you made, palm prints? Sure. So these are some of the examples of photos that I took and analyzed in comparison to each other. Um, some of these aren't as good as others because we had to take them home from different events in order to take the pictures. So... However, we have, I have 20 palm prints, um, which means I have a possible combination of 190 different combinations of participants that don't include the same two participants. So I have a lot of data. So this is just about all the palm prints here. What did you find most interesting about doing your project? Um, probably um, the background research. I didn't know that genetics was so complicated um, until I looked it up and saw just how complicated it really was and how confusing. So when I started to get a better understanding of it, it was actually really interesting. Okay. Anything else you would like the judges to know about your project? 
Um, not really. All right. Well, thank you.